Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to this podcast, Designers Lane. This episode is such a special episode for me. We have a wonderful guest. It's actually my first Zoom guest, Lucas Downing of Middle Creek High School. Uh, I recorded it from home. He recorded it from his home through Zoom. So ask everyone to bear with the technical. It's hopefully as close to perfect as we can do, but we're going to edit it. So definitely check that out. Um, We're going to zip over to that and watch it. And before we do that, I want to make sure and thank our sponsors, Jenny Blanton. She's going to take care of all of your real estate needs. If you're in the Raleigh, Durham, Cary, Sanford area, down near Pinehurst, um, uh, give her a call. She'll do her best to help you see if you've got some real estate needs that she can help you with. Definitely touch base with her. And also Dogwood and Company, Wake County, Cary area, luxury builder, building a home, definitely touch out on the front side. Remember, it takes a little bit of time. Or if you have a nice remodel, larger custom luxury remodel, give them a call, see if it's something they can help you with. So now we're going to zip over to this Zoom call again with Lucas Downing of Middle Creek High School and swing back to you in a couple of minutes. So, hey, everyone, welcome to Designers Lane and my very first special guest, I will have to say that this is uh, round two of recording this because I forgot to hit the recording button. Um, I'm doing this one a little different. I'm doing it from my home, and my special guest is also doing it from his home. And you know what? I'm not a producer. I've never claimed to be. Who the heck know you had to hit record for Zoom? So we've done it, and we're going to go for take two. So Lucas Downing is my special guest. And we're so excited to have him on this particular podcast. Now, Lucas, some of our listeners are not going to know exactly where you are from. They don't know where we're recording. Uh, They listen from all over the United States. Some of them listen from um, other countries. And who knows? Maybe they're listening from Mars or the moon. So can you tell us exactly where you're located? And it looks like I have on the same shirt or very similar as you. Can you tell me what school you go to and where that's also located? Mill Creek High School, located in Apex, North Carolina. And that is North Carolina. And for those who don't know, North Carolina is very close to Raleigh and Cary. Uh, I'd say it's almost central uh, in North Carolina. So you're a couple hours to the coast, maybe two or three to the coast. And you're two or three, maybe closer to three or four. To the mountains, you can go to the west of the mountains, or you can go to the north. So it's a great place and a great location. So, Lucas, you go to Middle Creek High School in Apex, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I have a little bit of history with Middle Creek. My all three of my nephews went to school to play football, and I actually think my oldest nephew, I believe, was one of the first students when that school was developed. And um, I believe, you know, Harrison, the youngest one that graduated a couple of years ago, which is fantastic. Can you tell our listeners what year you are this upcoming year? Now, everybody keep in mind, we're recording this in the middle of August. And when you listen to it, school will probably have already started. But let's tell our listeners what year you are going to be this upcoming year. Junior. Junior. That's great. Now, I know that I'm about a thousand years old, but that's still 11th grade. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That is amazing. We're so happy for all of the students this year at Middle Creek, and it's a wonderful school. And Definitely a shout out to all of the the teachers. Now, I have a list of questions that you and I've talked about, and you sent me over the last couple of days, and also some pictures. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of go through those, and it's going to guide us a little bit, give us something to talk about and jog our memory a little bit. So you are a freshman this year. Oh, junior. Junior. Junior, junior. Oh my gosh, you were a freshman a long time ago. You can't be a freshman. And what classes do you think you'll be taking this year? Have you already signed up for them? Can you tell us a little bit about your the classes you think will happen and maybe what's your favorite class? Um, right now, my classes I'm, I'm going to be going into this year is Force and 10 Marketing with Brian Oliver. That is wonderful. Is that one of your favorite classes you think you'll have this year or this semester? Yeah. Wonderful. What exactly do you do in that class? What does it, what happens in it? We do like fantasy football, group work. 
Fantasy football is pretty cool. Can you tell us who your number one and number two pick would be? I did my first draft. I drafted Lamar Jackson and Dalton Cook. Wonderful. So what happens if they don't do well? Do they like take you outside and spank you and shoot you with a garden hose? Or do you just do better next time? I'll do better next time. That's wonderful. That's really great. And are there any other classes that are your favorite classes that you like a lot? Maybe that you had last year, not even this upcoming year? Math one and English and civics. Wow. Those are hard classes, really hard classes. That's great. I love math as um, really nice. And you have to know how to add and subtract uh, for sure. I promise you, as you get older, it is a really, really big deal. Lucas, how about telling us what you do after school? What are your some some of your fun activities and things that happen um, during the summer is the first one. And then the second one, uh, you may have to remember what you did last year during school. But when, when you're not there, tell us what fills your day uh, and what happens is what you do. Hmm. So are you only talking about this year first or last year? Uh, you can pick either or, or type stuff. Um, so this year, um, like last week, I was in the orientation for the Rising Night Prayers class for 26. I was giving them tours. Talk about SGA a little bit, how long I've been part of it. And it is my second year on the board for one president, officer, and leader. It's not easy to talk about. But um, if, you want, if you're a board member, you'll be in charge of the spreadsheet of points. Make sure people attend meetings. If you get 10 minutes, you get points. If you don't, then you have to fill out the apps and form on the Google form. That's amazing. So what happens? What is an average meeting that people attend? Do those people hit most of the meetings or some of the meetings? Or is it a little mix of everything? So a little bit mix, a little bit, because like our board meetings, we meet every month, like every second Tuesday for every month. But for SGA members, meetings are... Highly, every school, I mean, I mean, I mean, done lunch hours or after school. That's nice. That's really great that you, um, you do that and you did that in the past and it will definitely be helpful that happens. One thing I just remembered, I'm looking at our shirts that we talked about in our first go around is <laughs> Middle Creek High School in Apex for, you know, I'm one of the few people and hopefully some of our listeners have been around for a bit. And we remember when Apex only had one high school. Apex has multiple high schools right now. And Coach Ryder, uh, my brother, who you know very well, and I believe it's going to be in one of our pictures, we all went to that high school. Now, they recently tore that school down and built it new. I think the end of last year, we got to play in the new stadium. This year, we'll get to play in the new stadium again as well. At least Middle Creek will. But we were one of the very few. As Craig Trider, I believe, was the one of the first classes that started at that school and went all the way through. And I was fortunate enough to do the exact same thing. But you know, back in the day when school started, we had one line of school serviced everything for Apex. You had one beginning school, you had one middle school, you had one elementary, and you had one high school. Now there's multiple high schools in there which is great. We all get to play them in football, but it's one of the fun things as you grow up in the area and see such a great area like Apex and Cary expand that you get to know. But I think that's a great fact to, to just have. And then the other students know that and there was only one, there was only one and now there's a gazillion. So that is so, so, so cool to know and hopefully wonderful information with that. Now, I have in my note that you're also involved in the Spirit League. Can you yes. tell our listeners a little bit about the Spirit League, what it is, and what you do? Yep. So, so I'm back my son grade year um, in 2018. That's where I first started. I didn't start in Wake Forest because we didn't have Wake Forest because we had Apex. It started in YMCA from one of my pro coaches, Cal Maxwell and, Mike, and Matt Marcus Short, they were, they know each other because my uh, Cal Maxwell used to play high school basketball with Coach Coach Mike was one his assistant coach, and he they they chat they get they get they chat and they and then they and my coach Mike her stepdaughter 
uh, his stepdaughter, excuse me, um, joined in Spirit League when they started. And I started it then, and, and I didn't know Spirit League. And then I asked one of my friends to see if I could be part of it. And I said, yes, I can be part of it. Now, this year, it's getting a lot better due to COVID. Now we're trying to get everything back to normal soon. That is amazing to know. Is that something that happens all year round? Or is it something that's just during school season? It's all year round. Um, we have three locations. Next year, we're open up our third location in Dayton, Ohio. And our... uh, that's, that's amazing. Hopefully, Ohio is a long way away. You don't have to play anything there on the weekends. Um, can anyone come and watch the Spirit League, uh, the sports play? Or do you have to be a part of the family? It could be, it could be both. Um, you play at, you could come at Apex or you come wait for us, or if you live in day 10, day 10 Ohio, you come down, but just follow us Billy on Instagram. We have a Facebook page. I could like share it to you after this call. That would be great. I think I'd like to put that up on the, the podcast so people can see it. And you said that you particularly play at the Apex facility, the Apex Recreation Center. Is that right? Yep. That's amazing. Now. Is the Spirit League, what sports do they have? Is it one particular or multiples? It's just basketball. Basketball. Now, uh, we talked about this before, and I think you probably grew in it since I spoke with you last. Can you tell all of our listeners and even the people watching how tall you are? Because you don't look like you're short. No, I'm 6'1". You're 6'1". 6'1". Six one. Six one. That six one and a half. So you grew half inch since we last talked. That's great. And you could probably get close to touching the basket. Are you guys allowed to dunk in the basketball league that you play? No, not in Apex Wake Forest. That's where I coach. You can't do it at Wake Forest either. Nope, neither in Dayton. Uh, Dayton, Ohio. Do not know how it's going to go next year when they open up. So in January next year. Well, it's certainly nice that you don't dunk on them because you're really tall and then you're probably going to even get taller. That's amazing. And mm -hmm. I would think that everyone wants you on their team. Uh, how are the teams picked? It? Is it picked? Is it by the coaches or is it by you draw names out of a hat? We do like age play. So like for me, I'm 17. When you get older, you will play on the higher team. When you're young, you play a lower middle team. We split up, split up groups. That is really cool and amazing. Or, um, and I think everybody probably wears really cool shoes and it squeaks. It makes a lot of noise in there. Mm -hmm. at gym floor. That's really cool. I, I love the idea of the Spirit League. That's amazing. Uh, we talked about Middle Creek. The high school that you go to is amazing. And there looks like there's a really big game coming up. This Thursday and Friday against my church and your church as well. Who is Middle Creek playing this Thursday and Friday? Thursday at home against Fuquay for um for varsity um a wonderful. And then so we have a Thursday game and a Friday game. One's going to be at Fuquay and the other is going to be at Middle Creek. Wait, well, Thursday's at home and Friday's at Fuquay. I like that. I think that the right the away game and the home game is fine. Our family is going to try and make the game both Thursday and Friday of this week. One thing that's amazing with Middle Creek and I love that you're involved in is the student body. What are those group of kids all that they all sit at the end of the section? Sometimes I think there's about 10,000 of those students and y'all all wear the same color shirts and everything and dress up kind of fun and funny. Do they, does that group have a name? Yeah, Middle Creek Creek Crazies, what we was called. When we had games against, um, it's called, it's different um, themes like this Friday is going to be right out against Sukway. Is that a white out? Does that mean that you everyone wears white? No, it depends. So like our SGA board members, when we have a big board meeting with Pulaski and Logan and our student body, we tend we technically decide what's best for us for our grades. Like this year, it's going to be ninth graders are going to be wearing white. 10th graders are going to be wearing white. 11th graders will be white. I'm a junior. I'm going to be wearing red. And 12th graders will be wearing black, I think. Might be right. That's amazing. <laughs> so what are the pieces that are over 50 years old supposed to wear? 
If you're a family member, it's up to you, but as long as no creek. As long as it's probably uh, black, white, and granite, we should be okay. Yeah. That's amazing. And, you know, you guys do this whole feature uh, that when um, either at the beginning of the game or right around the middle, and it looks like everyone is either in a car or is in a roller coaster. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, if you're if you're driving a car, don't park in the community center. Oh, if you're a student, you have to park in the parking lot. It is. There's definitely lots of cars that's there, and there's this fun thing that all the creek crazies do, where they all lean right and then they all lean left, and then you lean backwards and forward. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be like when there's a jello cake work. Awesome. I love it. And you guys, I've been going through the games for a long time. It seems like they've been doing that a long time. And let's hope that no one that drives a car drives that crazy because if they do, oh my gosh, nuts. You know what? Speaking of cars, I saw on Facebook, your mother's Facebook and your Facebook page, that you got a major achievement this year. Would you like to share with our listeners what that is? My license. Driver's license. That's amazing. And you passed it in your first go around or your second go around? Although this year I don't have to take my test because they asked me if they just need to give, I just have to give them my per hours. Right. That's amazing. So who do you like to ride in the car with? More with your mom or your dad? Both. The awesome. So, do they tell you how to drive? You know, my mother would put her hands on the dash and put her foot on the brake, and when she was trying to tell me to stop, do they do that? Or are you a really good driver, and you don't have to have it in hell? It just depends on both. But uh, I still need to work on like backing out. That's super important. Yes, because you don't want to back into any uh, mailboxes or bar measurements or cars. Absolutely. You know, when I had my first car, we didn't have cameras and we certainly didn't have two screens in them. So you had to turn around, put your hand on the steering wheel and look back. Now you look at it monitor and you get too close to feet and swap screams and I even think some of the cars out but you will have to know how to do that on your own. Absolutely for sure. And congratulations on your like, driver's license. That is a really big yeah. accomplishment. I'll a lot of fun. Will you get to drive the school next year when you're a senior? This school, no, I'm driving this school year. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the driving is that is amazing. Very, very cool. Very happy for you. Now, we are going to talk about how you sent me over some pictures. I keep looking at a list every time I left. You sent me over some pictures that we're going to talk about. I want you to tell our listeners and tell me on the screen a little bit about them. And when the producer puts everything up on the podcast in a couple of weeks, uh, we're actually going to be able to, everyone's going to be able to see the photographs and the pictures with what we're talking about. Uh, the very first one is, it looks like you're in an auditorium. You're at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, just a really cool green shirt with stripes. And you're, you're tall enough that your stripes can go sideways, but it's either they have to go vertical. But tell us where you are and who this group of fun characters would be. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to pull up my picture so I can tell you who they are and what grade they're going to be in. Super. It looks like this you are in the, is it the theater. Of the yep. That is amazing. And I've never been in the theater of Middle Creek, but it looks really <laughs> cool that's in there. Do you have your picture pulled up? Yep. So these pictures, so those pit people are going to be work. well, this school year, we're going to be working with Palassi and Logan, playing on um, Spirit Week and fun activities we're going to be doing this school year. And what else we need to be on the same page of points, like I was saying about the SGA points are super important for SGA members who attend meetings. Because we we have to make sure the points are in correctly. If we are a one, then we are we got Palassi and Logan helping us. I don't know if Harrison Ryder know them, those two people. That's amazing. But that is for everyone, Harrison is my younger nephew. That's cool. I love the set that you guys are or the stage that you're standing on and all the lighting and the curtains. That's really, really cool. 
So the next picture we go to looks like a whole bunch of football players. It's, what about this one? So it's just a, it's our varsity team. JV, I'm trying to set any pictures, but there's too much pictures on JV. That's incredible. If you do get some of the data, please send them over. So this is the varsity football team. Is that for this upcoming year? Yep. And it looks like all the players are wearing black with the really cool red numbers. And on the outsides and the top, there are people in red jerseys. And who's me? Jerseys. Are you in a red jersey too? Oh, I see you on the left. That's well, it's not. That's not Michael Bailey. Oh, Michael Bailey. Are you in a red picture or this picture? Yeah. I'm... Where are you in this picture? So we can make sure everyone's. Behind number one. Behind number one. That is so cool. Everybody look at number one, and we will see Lucas that's full. And again, we give all of our cheering ability for their, their first game this upcoming week and hope they do a great job. I'm sure that they will. The next picture, we have two side by side. Um, both guys are in a hat. Tell us who these great folks that we are looking at on the screen. Those people I work with for media stuff for the school, uh, not for the school, outside school for games. Um, though on the lap is me and my one of my close friends since we've been friends since middle school. His name's Harrison. He, me and him, does a lot of good grap. He does a lot of good grap. They follow his. Instagram account at Harrison Eaton Media because we both do really well. He and we work on good quality camera and much more. But if you want if you want any graphics for him or me, on the right, Dave Thomas does um AD graphics. He does really good videos for our football team. It's the videos that I see online of the game sometimes in the videos that are one of these guys involved or do they help with that? Yep. I help out with them sometimes. I'm trying to get, I'm getting a camera like very soon. That's great. So are you guys going to have live camera action at the games this year? Gosh, if we're not able to be at the game that we can stream it or watch it live? No, they don't stream it live. They just, they just take pictures and, and take videos and they put, they make a highlights. I might, I'm making the highlights this weekend for JV and varsity. Well, the highlights are definitely important and it's such an amazing, amazing skill. And I encourage everyone to check it out. The next picture is in a restaurant. I see you right in the middle of the group of people on this really long table. Where are we in this restaurant? This place is called, for us called, but it's really good. It was in downtown Apex. This is a picture of me and my Sparely crew. That is amazing. Do they have, do you remember what kind of food that they serve there? Bur burgers, pizza, there's much more. Awesome. I think it's really, really great. Speaking of food, what's your favorite place or your favorite food to have lunch? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. That's my favorite. You know, I've got about a good billion points at Chick-fil-A. You go through and they scan that little QBR, QBC or whatever the heck it's called scanner. You get one for it. So I've been saving them for years and I have a Brazilian. Um, but Chick-fil-A is one of what he did. I don't know if you have a couple of lot. They have a really, really good chicken sandwich too. So be sure and check them out. <laughs> this next picture... You are wearing one of my favorite jerseys, the Carolina Panthers, and it looks like this great team is holding up a pizza. One of my, again, my favorite foods. I had it last night for dinner. Can you, where are we? Where are we with this picture? Net had pizza. I'm with one of my, I'm with the manager, John Molly and Jenna Molly. He's, she's going to be a freshman in college at UNC Wilmington this fall. Wilmington. Great. I love it. And a couple of months ago, I met the CEO president named Jack Azar. He's, he's starting his company in Ashford, Virginia, like not too far where I'm from. That is amazing. And this is called Manhattan Pizza. And I believe it's in Holly Springs, North Carolina. Is that correct? Yep. One in Raleigh, one in Virginia, somewhere in Ashford. 
That's amazing. I'm going to have to try it out. I looked it up on MapQuest last night, and it looks like for those of you who are close by into the Holly Springs Apex area, it's really close to um, Optimus Farm Road, uh, Sunset Lake Road, and Holly Springs Road. And I believe that you you told me there was a, a, a store or a gym close by, which is a really good target. What was that? Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness. Wonderful. I love Planet Fitness, too. I need to go there more often. Do you like pizza? Do they make, I'm sure they make great, fantastic pizza. Yes, they do. They do make really good pizza. They make really good salad. They make really good burgers. Oh my God. I'll tell you what, that pizza that you guys have looks really, really good. I encourage everyone to go check them out. Say hello. If you are there, you'll probably be the tallest person in the room working. Uh, so it'll be easy to figure out who you are and check them out. And I think that's the me, me. I work there as well. I, absolutely. That's what I'm thinking. I think it'll be very, very, very easy to figure out who you are. You know what? I'm a dog lover. I love this picture. I know what their needs are, but I'm going to ask you to tell me who they are and a little bit about them. Oh, they are so darn cute. So the first, I'm my own. Ben first. Ben is a lab dog. He we name him from my sister girl's Appalachian State. And we got him before when COVID started in twenty twenty in May. Somewhere around May or April, March. And then Charlie is the hound dog. We got him almost he's gonna be he's like he's starting he's gonna get close to be ten soon. By and Charlie, the hound dog, for those of you who do not know what a hound dog is, he's on the bottom of the screen. He has, you know, it looks like white leg, brown, and black. Does he bark and talk a lot to the hound? Yeah, sometimes Ben does the same as well. I think he's nice to tell you he has to throw the ball or a treat right now. And then the um, the black one, Boone, is at the top of the screen. And um, I believe you said she's a heat or a heat. Is he a lab? Yes. Wonderful. And you know, I made the comment before that I think your mother's floors in here are amazing. And you told me that this was at the deep. Do they like to get in the water down at the coast? Mm -hmm. We also have a, yes, we do. We also have a fence and shout out to Mark Pitcher. He did our fence and he started his own business, Home Inspector MVP. That's great. I know Mark very well. Can you give another, uh, let's say his name of his company again? MVP Home Inspector. That's wonderful. He does great inspections and Mark's wonderful. And he was also a coach, I believe, for a few years with Middle Creek. And is is he somewhere different this year? He's at Low Springs. This is just, he's going to be, he's been, let's call Let me go back to my story with him. So I met him back in my middle school year, sixth grade year. He was the head football coach. For the Westlake football team, and now and now he left. He left there every month, every year from Mill Creek with along with Jeff Ryder and other coaches. Now he's at Willow Springs for football. He's he's going to be the JV head coach and defense back in. And I he hope that he comes back for for cross because he coached for cross this year. That's amazing. He's a wonderful coach. Now we certainly wish him the best of luck in his first year. It's the second year he started my instruments. Okay, well, we'll give him credit for the first one as a learning year. I think he's fantastic, and we'll see how he plays uh, this Thursday for his first one. Now, this last picture, I happen to know this person pretty well. He's my brother. Uh, I think he's his coach rider and everyone else. When was this picture taken? Last year. And it was for, was it the JV game he showed up and myself on? Wonderful. And just to let everybody know, my brother is not a sheriff person and you are taller than he is. So this gives everyone a really good idea that you are definitely not short. And it's amazing your smile and cheering. And I know that the entire um, league and the team loves when everyone cheers, and especially when you're there. And we'll have to definitely share, tell everyone your Instagram account and Facebook because you post tons of pictures of the the friends and the cheering and the athlete, just amazing, fun, mm -hmm. and amazing. Can't say that uh, enough. Now, your favorite sport that you like to scream in cheer at, which one would that be? Or maybe two? 
just to, to sports right now? Yes. Okay, football is one of them, and then hockey. If I'm, if it's in the, if, and I go, baseball, I go watch the Salmares and Turnbulls. That's, that's awesome. You gotta, even for the hockey players, you have to be careful. They get knocked out on a mm-hmm. break, but it's cool. And then, hey, you know that we have the Preston League Hurricanes that's close by, and some of them live over in Cary, which is kind of cool that they're close by, and they do mm-hmm. a great, great deal. Although I've been told they're not from here, they're from somewhere else. But hey, what? We'll take them that they're physically there. I also have in my notes that you have a podcast that you're going to get ready and start, can you, and hopefully start in the next you know, few months or the next year. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what you're going to do? So my podcast, I'm Samilaya, Lucas, or whatever the name of my thing about. It's going to be about Florida Ride and for Mill Creek, what I do for school. And uh, there's much more of brain gas. Maybe you, and I'm probably going to get you on there one day, talk about your, what you do for a designer. That would be fantastic. I would love to do it. Maybe we can talk about your the floors a little bit more and how cool looking they are. Uh-huh. Do you have a name yet that you're willing to share what you think you're going to call the podcast? Probably light up with Lucas Downing or maybe, maybe this is, this is one of them and thing about. Hey, it takes a little bit of time. I think our team's going to do my podcast about a hundred times. So <laughs> we definitely won't hold you to it, but we want to encourage everyone that when it comes out, let us know and we can let everyone look and search for you. Is it going to be on Spotify or what platform is it going to be? Spotify, from a record on my Anchor app. Uh, we'll definitely make sure everybody looks for you and search it for on Spotify because you can do that easily now and that works. Lucas, we have done a great job. Believe it or not, this went by super quick. And <laughs> I'm looking and it says that I'm recording. So hopefully I didn't screw up. But okay. you know what? There's always a chance that I will and we'll have to do it a third go around. Let's hope not. Want to thank everyone so much for tuning in. Do you have any final word, words that you would like to say to our listeners? Mm-hmm. So I want to say thank you for having me on. And also, if you have any questions for me or about Sparely or much more of SGA stuff, Please follow me at Lucas underscore down and underscore on Instagram and on and or you can friend me on Facebook. That is great. How about also in the comment and when this podcast posts, which should be in a couple of weeks, we put link there so everyone can see that to help them. And if they want to get involved or understand it a little bit more, they'll have a way to do that. What do you think about that? Mm-hmm. I could set it up there. What you need to follow. That okay. that sounds amazing. Well, Lucas, I give you and the uh, whole Metal Creek tons of luck this Thursday and Friday at your opening football game. I will be there with my family screaming and yelling. I'll be glad to keep Mama Alma from doing anything to the refs and screaming too much at them. So let me hope that they call a good game. I'm sure that they will. And can't thank you enough for your time for the second go around. Mm-hmm. And I am so looking forward to your podcast coming up soon. Yeah. So let me know and then keep me posted. Mm-hmm. I hope you have a great day. I want to remind everyone, Designers Lane podcast is how you can listen to me. We talk mostly about your builders and And also, thanks again. Luke is my first mm-hmm. guest, special guest. How amazing to have someone with incredible mm-hmm. talent as you. Thanks again. Be sure to give your dog some love and a hug and go throw him a couple balls. Mm-hmm. Have a good day, everyone. Be safe. To you, Lucas. Be good. Bye-bye. Wasn't that an amazing podcast from Lucas? So exciting to be do that. Don't forget to keep an ear out for when he posts his podcast. Going to have links to all the sponsors that he talked about in the bio. So be sure and look at them. And then, oh my gosh, Manhattan Pizza. If you're in that Holly Springs, Cary area over on that side of town, be sure and stop by and give them a hello. And we'll also be sure and put the links um, at the very end uh, in the, I think it's the bio or the description so you can check them out. Terrific three tips I'd like to talk about before we end this broadcast for building and designing um, your new home or your area. Just something to think about. Number one, chandelier or fan in your master bedroom. This has been a debate forever. It was a hot topic again the last couple of weeks with some clients. I want you to think about it. 
and want you to think about this before your design session because these things have to be ordered because of the delays in your primary bedroom in your main bedroom do you want to have a chandelier hanging or do you want to have a ceiling fan that hangs and moves air something to think about with your ceiling fans you can add a light source to them if you need to also move air and around you can dial them up dial them down and they have come such a long way. There are some beautiful fans that almost look like chandeliers. So think about that. The only reason I bring it is up, bring it up is the last couple of weeks in a remodel, we were having a ceiling fan and then they changed it at the last minute and decided to go with a beautiful light fixture. I'm always a big fan for the light fixture, but I did grow with the ceiling fan air moving around. So that's a tough one, especially if you're in the south somewhere that it's warm. Speaking about chandeliers, if you're going to put this in an area that is more than 10 or 11 feet tall, high ceiling, flat ceiling, or vaulted ceiling, that it is not easy to reach and to get to, physically get to, you may want to consider putting that chandelier on a lift. They make these new lifts. They go up in your attic, slowly lower that chandelier down, change the bulbs, um, although the bulbs are LED right now, so it's not as big of a deal to change the bulbs, but you can clean them and get the cobwebs down. So definitely, definitely consider putting in a chandelier lift. They range anywhere from probably $1,100 to $1,300 worth the investment, especially down the road, because if you have a top of a chandelier that's up 15 or 20 feet and you have to get to it, you're going to have to have the ladder, you're going to have to store the ladder. Consider it something amazing. And the last of our terrific three tips, thermostats. Please don't put your thermostat in the middle of your wall. Put it on the edge. Put it on the outside. If you put it in the middle of your wall, it's going to interrupt a space that you're going to either hang a mirror or a piece of art. If you have a console table and you put some accessories on the left and the right side of it, it's going to just booger up that look. You don't want to do that. You want it clean. Always ask during your vendor walk or that particular vendor if you can slide that thermostat over as far as you can want to thank you for listening to this episode of Designers Lane. I am Eddie Ryder. Also want to thank our sponsors, uh, Jenny Blanton, and she's going to handle all of your real estate needs in Central North Carolina. And also if you're building a beautiful luxury home in the Cary, North Carolina area or doing a larger remodel, custom remodel, reach out to them, Dogwood and Company, see if they can help you out and then make that happen. Next week's guest we're going to attempt to have a fabulous guest from Wilmington, North Carolina. We're going to Zoom her in. We're going to call from the studio and talk about her process and what she thought about building her home. The ups and the downs and the pros and the cons. This was probably about two, two and a half years ago. So they've been in the home for a while and will have just great details and an understanding of what happened. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and the other ones. You'll get an alert when new ones pop up. And hopefully you'll get some great, tail, great details and enjoy some tips. Y'all have a great day.